Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city. Welcome back to Political Soup here with Crom Carmichael and our friend Mike Pickett. Uh, we are going to get started with uh, the fairgrounds and what new developments, what lack of developments, um, and what what we could possibly do with that land if the developments don't happen and we decide that it should just go the way of uh, private industry. What, right. uh, what are your thoughts on that? It's been a, well, it was a hot, hot political issue in the last council race and mayor's race. And it's one where uh, there are people with sentiments and great memories of the fairgrounds and there apparently was a thing called uh, something plunge. Uh, do you remember Crown? No. Anyway, a place where it, there was a water park there, there at one time, there was a speedway still there, and people who have very fond memories of, the, of that fairgrounds and also the state fair and all the things that happened there. On the other hand, the place is in decay, it's losing money, they just had to allocate I think between two hundred and three hundred thousand dollars in this year's budget to keep it going and so there's also some sentiment among those in the administration at City Hall and elsewhere that this should be turned into something else either public pri private partnership or sold by the city and turned into a, a multi-use development and so that's the issue what, what is who owns it the city of Nashville the city owns it. Owns it's, 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 and it's overseen by a metro board but did somebody at some point give the fairgrounds to the city and as long as it had a state fair there were there's was there some is there something in kind of the the paperwork on the gifting or whatnot that that makes it more difficult to do something with it do you know i, I, I don't do, i do not know the okay. answer to that it's, well what what is so interesting mike and you i mean here you have this this large valuable piece of property Right. It's owned by the city, so it generates no property taxes for the city, and it costs the taxpayers three hundred thousand dollars this year. Yes, yeah. and and a year, so three hundred thousand dollars, and and you have a bunch of people who don't want anything done to it, but who aren't the ones who then have to pay the three hundred thousand dollars particularly, and um, and it's a shame because you have all these factions that, that yearn for yesteryear who will show up, even though they're not that interested in it, who will show up just to keep anything from happening. Well, and, that's a shame. and there was a, a referendum that passed in the last election saying that it takes some kind of supermajority of the council to do anything with the fairgrounds. So now it, only, it, it not only takes majority plus one, it takes majority plus X to do anything with it. So there's a lot of sentiment for the fairgrounds. And I'm sure there are things that all of us remember growing up that we were very fond of, places we used to like to go, experiences we all had. But mm -hmm. to me, this is a, it's time to move on and sure. find a better use of this property. Is, Chris, is Christmas Village still out there? I used to go out to Christmas Village. I did that a few years ago, and it might have been. You know, that's a good question. I don't know. And then I've, I've been I, to I that, think, too. I think yeah. there's a gun show out there. But now yeah, you've yeah. got all these other venues where you can have right. these things. Right, and then the state fair is it probably loses money if they even still have it. I don't remember, and then the the automobile, you know, the racetrack out there used to draw some pretty big crowds, and now they're sparse. Right, well, so, but it still operates, and the other one shut down. So there, there are arguments that it's not well marketed by the city on purpose, but in general, the uh, the sentiment from the administration has been there are better uses of this property, and we ought to move on to those. And I tend to agree with that. Well, I do too. And I, what I wouldn't want is is to politicize politicize what you then do with it. What the city needs to do is say we're going to have proposals, we're going to listen to proposals, we're going to pick an independent board, and that board cannot have anybody who is related to them have any financial interest in the outcome. And then you kind of have a couple or three different ways of processing the proposals so, so that you really do take the conflict of interest or even the even the perception of conflict of interest out of it. I'd buy that. Yeah, okay. Well, there's not, you and I are in agreement and we, we'll, we'll see what happens. I guess it'll come back up again this next year, over the next year or two, won't sure, it? Sure, yeah. yeah. It's just kind of simmering under the surface right now, but it'll be back as a big issue. Yeah, because that's getting to be, as, as the city moves that direction, that land is getting to be something that can become more and more valuable. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, it looks like the fairgrounds, we kind of agree, need to have something done with them. Um, and I would guess that over the course of the next year or two, if the Nashvillians are still paying 300000 a year to yep. 
to just make it run for nothing. Yes. To run to do nothing. Uh, that's a lot of money for people to be throwing money at it for it to not have an actual purpose on a regular basis. And uh, and I would agree that you have well, to... I would think the property taxes, if that property were developed to its highest and best use, the property taxes that it would generate would be in the millions and millions of dollars. I mean, that's a big piece of property. It is a big piece of yeah. property. And speaking of millions of dollars, yes. we have a project we'll be discussing next <laughs> that we could use millions of dollars for if this, in fact, moves forward. We'll talk about that next here on Political Soup. <laughs>